Tonight's big story, community leaders are pleading for peace after a senior member of the tribesman gang was shot and critically injured. Violence erupted in South Auckland overnight as crowds gathered to celebrate Samoa's victory over arch-rival Tonga at the Rugby League World Cup. For the past few nights, they've been celebrating in South Auckland, fans taking to the streets with flags flying. But the fanfare took a sour turn last night. A senior member of the tribesman gang was shot and remains critically injured in Middlemore Hospital. They were celebrating the win uh, so close against Tonga and it was such, yes, let's celebrate Samoa winning. And that was it. And then we had this. That's the concern. It's not a new concern. The streets in our Filipinas ward have often been a battleground for gang tensions, with tit-for-tat drive-by shootings and near misses earlier this year. In June, the tribesmen and the killer bees answered the community's call for calm with a ceasefire. It's not clear yet what caused this hit or even who's behind it. Police calling for calm, urging fans to show pride safely and respectfully. Well, to discuss this further, let's bring in Auckland councillor Al Filipina. Kia ora, Al. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. How concerned are you by this incident? I'm very concerned because I, I and the community don't want to see any um, retaliation. So, look, we're, we're very concerned. This type of activity, of course, is never good, but especially when there's been a, a period of relative calm in your community. Yeah, totally agree. I again want to acknowledge our community leaders, um, plus also the the two uh, gangs that um, in, ended up uh, uh, discussing things, and and we were at that situation. So I just hope it doesn't escalate. Yeah, as you've mentioned, there have been in the past, you've seen the gang tensions have been there, but the rivalries have simmered down. Obviously, you're still a lot unknown in this case, but as a community leader, what would you like to see happen at this stage? Uh, at, at, at this stage, uh, obviously, with the police uh, to, to, to do as much as they can, and they need the community to help to locate the person who um, did the shooting. Uh, thoughts are with the family of um, the person who has been shot, but uh, for me, it, it's just no retaliation, no no escalation. That That is what um, our community wish. It is ironic, isn't it? You've got these people out there showing a real sense of community pride and celebration, and then this is the outcome. Are you worried how this if this will change how your communities come together? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried because the community will come together, um, and, and that's why it, 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 it is all about helping the police uh, and, and just staying solid together. That's that's why I'm not really worried about that. Um, you know, uh, the celebrations, I have no doubt at all they will continue and, and hopefully we don't see anything like this happen when um, Samoa plays the semi-final. Good luck uh, to Samoa. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you, you've given your message to the people who might be tempted to, uh, to retaliate in this, but what about people, your message to other people in the community who might be feeling you know, pretty unsettled by all of this. What would you say to them? Um, look, um, let's let's be solid. Let's let's stay together. Let's stay united, and and ensure that that these firearms that are, are out there. Please, if you know, um, contact somebody. Contact the police and just get them off our streets. Stay solid. Okay, great, great words there, Al. Thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you so much.